Today we're doing some videos on the Waves and Wheels QAP RW and RB. The QAP comes in white and in black for different applications. The QAP is originally designed to be mounted to a radar arch, hard surface, structural, or tubular. The QAP comes with a gasket which prevents the installer or yourself from having to do any type of silicone work. It's a great material and we'll show in videos and photos later that it can actually compress. Most of your arches actually have a curve to them so when you use the QAP gasket it can actually compress down to about a sixteenth of an inch without bulging and give the appearance of a nice clean finished silicone look. And the other great thing is, is you can drop the QAP down and still access the arch, do any access panels uh, if you're wanting to do any additional wiring or service to the vessel over time. Um, our, our harness also comes pre-coated for four drivers and it's traditional to what you find on the back of a car audio head unit or marine radio head unit. Your whites are left, black stripe is negative, white solid is positive, your grays are your right side or port and starboard. The harness is wired for a two channel and we have a nice snap tight fit marine plug. So once this is hardwired into the arch, you have your left and you have your right. Once this is hardwired, heat shrink, or you can use, as we use, a gel-filled butt connector. You can use your gasket as a template. You can even use painter's tape to tape it in place. Take the QAP, slide the harness through the gasket hole, line it up to the holes, and simply fasten the pod through your pre-drilled holes. And as you can see, there's recessed mounts and provided stainless fasteners for the pot. And once again, you can look on our website as well. The QAP can be used for several applications besides just a marine radar arch or tube arch. Several of our customers and ourselves have installed them on UTVs, hardtops, and even race trailers. Now going to a tubular style arch, we have a part called the QAPB, our bracketing system. And we're going to go over some installation tips on this as well. Here's the bottom of your bracket. Here's the top. You can see it's a beefy bracket. This bracket is not going to bend, slide, or give on you. We also provide the bracket with several fasteners. So our QAPB is not set for one style arch or size. It can go down to one and a quarter on up to three inch tubular arches. Okay, we're gonna go over the installation of the QAPB on the QAP pod. As you can see on the bottom of the bracket, you're gonna get a left and a right. It's pretty easy to indicate which one goes to the outside. It's got our logo across it. On the bottom of the pod, it has two fasteners. You're gonna find that these fasteners line up perfectly with the fasteners in the QAP. So simply line up the two outside holes to the QAP. And now you have the fastener hole for the clamp on the top of the lower bracket. Here's the top clamp. It's gonna perfectly align. I'm gonna grab the other one out the box so you can see. It's gonna perfectly align with the top and the bottom. Now, this gives you the ability to adjust your size. And we provide multiple socket fasteners out of stainless to be able to accommodate the size of tower you have. So first you want to grab your lock washer. 
slide it over the fastener, insert it into the recessed hole in the top of the clamp. Insert it into the lower clamp, and then from there you can tighten accordingly. And as you can see, as the fastener goes down, the clamp size gets smaller, or you can go to the larger fastener and expand the clamp size. Now I would suggest, once the QAPB is tight on the tower, I would jump back and forth from the front to the rear fastener, alternating as you're tightening to give it a nice, even clamp.